同学们，大家好，我是清华大学附属中学上帝学校的张春梅老师。今天我们一起学习 Unit Fourteen. I remember meeting all of you in Grade Seven, Period One. First, let's talk about our learning goals. At the end of this period, hopefully, you will be able to share past memories and experiences correctly. I'll show you a poem. Let's read it together. Think about what the poem is about. Many times I look back, especially in June every year. Meaningful days we spend together. Opinions to share and beautiful songs to hear. Remember every change you make. Independent growth without fear. Every time I think of you, smiles from my heart appear. Now, could you tell me what the poem is about? Yes, the poem is about memories. We can know it from not only the content, but the words, memory. Formed by the first letter of each line. What do you know you can get when you experience your school days? Excitement, discoveries, failures, tears, laughter, successes, challenges, sorrows. Joys and dreams. We experience a lot. We can get a lot. Well, junior high school days will be over. Do you have any special memories? We will never forget the days we spent together. I still remember being a volunteer at junior high school. I still remember winning a prize at junior high school. I still remember a friend helping me with a problem. I still remember having sports meeting, taking part in the relay race at junior high school. I still remember. Having the singing competition at junior high school. Look at the pictures and answer the questions. What kind of party do you think it is? Is it a welcome party or a graduation party? What are the boys and the girl talking about? What does the girl remember doing? Now, open your English book. Turn to page one hundred five. Activity one A. Check the things you remember doing at junior high school. Could you add more to the list? Maybe the following things are in your list. Making new friends, preparing for art festival, helping each other with homework, etc. Activity one B: Listen and match the memory with the person. Hey Frank, Peter, Sarah, and I were just sharing memories of junior high school. Great. Do you have any special memories, Mary? Oh yeah, lots. I remember losing my school bag in grade seven. I remember that. We all helped you to look for it. Remember? Yes, and Peter found it. Thanks for saving my life that day. No problem. How about you, Peter? What do you remember? Hmm. I used to be scared of Mr. Brown in grade eight. He was so strict. I always did my homework carefully to meet his standards. Me too. And I remember meeting all of you in grade seven, and we've been good friends ever since, haven't we, Frank? Yeah, 
I've enjoyed every year of junior high school, and we're all going to miss this place. Let's check the answers. The right answers are B, D, C, A. Listen again and answer the questions. Number one, what did Mary lose in grade seven? Number two, who helped her find it? Number three, what kind of person is Mr. Brown? Is he strict with students? Number four, how did Peter feel about him? Number five, what did Peter do to meet Mr. Brown's standards? Hey Frank, Peter, Sarah, and I were just sharing memories of junior high school. Great. Do you have any special memories, Mary? Oh yeah, lots. I remember losing my school bag in grade seven. I remember that. We all helped you to look for it. Remember? Yes, and Peter found it. Thanks for saving my life that day. No problem. How about you, Peter? What do you remember? Hmm. I used to be scared of Mr. Brown in grade eight. He was so strict. I always did my homework carefully to meet his standards. Me too. And I remember meeting all of you in grade seven. And we've been good friends ever since, haven't we, Frank? Yeah. I've enjoyed every year of junior high school, and we're all going to miss this place. Now let's answer the questions. Number one, what did Mary lose in grade seven? She lost a school bag in grade seven. Number two, who helped her find it at last? Peter. Number three, what kind of person is Mr. Brown? Is he strict with students? He is a very strict teacher. Yes, he is. Number four, how did Peter feel about him? He used to be scared of him. Number five, what did Peter do to meet Mr. Brown's standards? He always did his homework carefully. What are your memories of junior high school days? You can share your memories with your partner. We have listened to the recording twice. Let's review. Fill in the blanks first. Mary remembers losing her school bag in grade seven. Peter remembers being scared of Mr. Brown in grade eight. Peter remembers Mr. Brown was strict. Peter remembers doing his homework carefully to meet his standards. Sarah remembers meeting her friends in grade seven. All of them are going to miss the place. Let's read the reference answer. Some students were sharing the memories of junior high school. Mary recalled that she lost her school bag in grade seven. Thankfully, her classmates all helped her look for it. When she got it back, it hit her that it was their help that saved her life that day. Thus, it is fortunate for them to have real friends through junior high. Peter also had his own experience. He used to be scared of Mr. Brown in grade eight because he was so strict. So did Sarah. They spared no effort to meet Mr. Brown's standards. Thanks to the presence of these friends, Peter and Sarah overcame their weakness. Generally speaking, they are going to miss this place. Now, list some memories from junior school. Share with your partner. 
For example, I remember scoring two goals during a soccer competition. Make a conversation to talk about your memories. For example, well, junior high school days are almost over. Do you have any special memories? Yes, I remember our class going to the Great Wall in Grade 8. Why does going to the Great Wall impress you most? Why do you think it's special to yourself? Now, turn to page 106. Listen to the conversation in 2A. Check the facts you hear. So, Brian, here we are at the end of junior high. Yeah, I'm so happy I don't have to do PE again. Oh, Brian, but we did have a great PE teacher. He gave us really clear instructions so that we'd be safe when playing sports. Yeah, I remember Mr. Hunt was kind when I hurt my knee. He told me to take a break from running. What about you, Luke? Do you have any special memories? My best memory is when That's Life played at school. Remember we wrote a letter to the band about our dream of hearing them play, and they offered to come? Yeah, that was so cool. Don't you think that junior high has been fun? Yes, and a lot of hard work, too. What are you going to do after you graduate, Lisa? I want to go to senior high and then university so I can study medicine. Let's check the answers. Sentence 1, 2, 5 are in the conversation. Listen and match. Match each question with the name of the person. So, Brian, here we are at the end of junior high. Yeah, I'm so happy I don't have to do PE again. Oh, Brian, but we did have a great PE teacher. He gave us really clear instructions so that we'd be safe when playing sports. Yeah, I remember Mr. Hunt was kind when I hurt my knee. He told me to take a break from running. What about you, Luke? Do you have any special memories? My best memory is when That's Life played at school. Remember we wrote a letter to the band about our dream of hearing them play, and they offered to come? Yeah, that was so cool. Don't you think that junior high has been fun? Yes, and a lot of hard work, too. What are you going to do after you graduate, Lisa? I want to go to senior high and then university so I can study medicine. The answers are D, C, B, A. List some memories and experiences from junior high school. Share your list with your partner. Use the structures in the chart to talk about your memories and your experience. For example, I remember trying to be on time for morning reading. I've learned to be on time for everything. Turn to page 108. Let's deal with 4B. Write your own answers to the questions. I'll share some models with you. You don't have to write the same sentences. Number one, what do you remember about grade seven? I remember I was so proud to be a student of our school. Number two, what happened in grade eight that was special? I won a prize in an English speech contest. Number three, what did you used to do that you don't do now? I used to talk in class. Now I know it's wrong. Number four, how have you changed since you started junior high school? I have grown up. I know what is right and what is wrong. Number five, how do you think things will be different in senior high school. I think I will be busier. Number six, 
What are your plans for next year? I plan to pass the exam next year and go to study in a good senior high school. Number seven, what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to new experience in senior high school. Now, let's deal with the language points. Do you remember the title of this unit? I remember meeting all of you in grade 7. Let's deal with the usage of remember first. Remember, 想起, 记得. I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. 对不起, 我想不起你的名字了. Remember to write to us when you get there. 到了那儿,别忘了给我们写信. Let's talk about the two phrases. Remember to do something and remember doing something. Remember to do 表示记得做某事, 说明事情还没有做. Remember doing something 表示记得做过某事, 说明事情已经做了. Remember to call us when you get there. I remember telling you about it once. What's your choice? B. Remember to take your umbrella with you. It's going to rain. Next one. B. I had a happy junior high. I remember learning a lot from my teachers and classmates. 像remember一样,既可以接动名词,又可以接不定式,但意义不同的动词还有。Stop to do something,停下来去做某事。Stop doing something,停止正在做的事。Forget to do,忘记要去做的事,事情未做。Forget doing,忘记做过的事情,已做。Try to do something. 努力, 企图做某事. Try doing something. 试验, mean to do. 打算, mean doing something. 意味着. Let's do some exercises to consolidate the usages of remember. After working for a long time, he has to stop to have a rest. He was very tired, so he had to stop working. Number three, please don't forget to clean the room while I'm away in Beijing. Number two. Do you have any special memories? Memory, 记忆, 回忆. His memory is very good, and he never makes mistakes. 他的记性非常好, 从不出错. He was born with a very good or great memory. 他生来记性好. Here are some phrases about memory. In memory of, 对什么什么的纪念. Lose one's memory, 失去记忆. Have a poor memory, 记性不好. He wrote the poem in memory of his friend. She was hit by a car. Then she lost her memory. I have a poor memory. That's why I forget where I have put my keys. I always did my homework carefully to meet his standards. Standard, 标准. The living standards have improved a lot 
over the last 10 years. 在过去的十年里，生活水平有了很大的提高。Let's talk about some phrases of standard. Come up to the standard. 达到标准，合格。Raise the standard. 提高标准。Reach the standard. 达到标准。Set a standard. 制定，提出一个标准。Above the standards. 超过标准。Below standards. 未达到标准。Meet one standard. 符合某人的标准。In the sentences in the box of one C, pay attention to this part. Scoring two goals in a row during a soccer competition. Row, 一排，一列，一行。She was sitting in the front row. 她坐在前排。She and I sit in the same row. 我和她坐在同一排。In a row, 连续几次的。They have won five championships in a row. 他们已经连续五次获得冠军了。This is the third Sunday in a row that is rainy. 这是接连着的第三个星期天下雨了。Let's summarize what we've learned today. We experienced a lot in school days. It's the memories that make life rich. Today's homework. Number one, recite 2A. Number two, finish exercise 4A on page 108. Number three, make your answers to the questions of 4B into a short passage. 今天的课就上到这儿，同学们，再见。同学们好，我是清华大学附属中学上地学校的张春梅老师。今天我们一起学习 Unit Fourteen. I remember meeting all of you in Grade Seven, Period Two. First, let's deal with our learning goals. At the end of this period, you will be able to tell what an important role a teacher plays in your life. Write something about your teacher. Talk about your future plans, especially with be going to. In your life, there is someone who leads you into the world of knowledge, guides you to become a better person, tells you to be honest, comforts you, encourages you, will always be with you when you are in trouble. Okay, I think teachers must be in your answer list. Do you have a favorite teacher in your mind? What does or did he or she do for you? Now, Listen to the conversation and answer the question. Let's deal with the listening in 2D. Which teachers will you miss the most after junior high school, Clara? Ms. Lee and Mr. Brown. I know that Ms. Lee was always patient with you in math class. She helped you to work out the answers yourself, no matter how difficult they were. Yes, and Mr. Brown guided me to do a lot better in science. He always took the time to explain things to me clearly whenever I couldn't understand anything. Who will you miss? Ms. Griffin. She encouraged me in English class. She always told me, you can do it. Because of her, I put in more effort and my exam scores doubled. 
Shall we get each of them a card and gift to say thank you? Good idea. Let's go shopping tomorrow. What are they talking about? They are talking about the teachers, who they will miss most after junior high school and why. Read 2D and find answers to the following questions. Number one, who are the teachers Clara will miss? Number two, how did Miss Lee help Clara? Now let's check the answers. Number one, Miss Lee and Miss Brown. Number two, how did Miss Lee help Clara? Miss Lee was always patient with Clara in math class, and she helped her to work out answers no matter how difficult they were. Number three, why will Clara miss Miss Brown after junior high school? Because Miss Brown guided her to do a lot better in science. He always took time to explain things to her clearly whenever she couldn't understand anything. Number four. Who will Judy miss after junior high school? Miss Greenfin. Number five. What did the teacher do to help Judy? She encouraged her in English class. So Judy put in more effort and her exam scores doubled. Number six. What is their dialogue mainly about? Unforgettable teachers. Two students talk about their favorite teachers, the subjects they teach, and the reason why they like the teachers. Now, let's complete the chart and get ready for the retelling. Clara likes Miss Lee because Miss Lee is patient and always help her to work out the answers. Mr. Brown teaches science. He took the time to explain things clearly. So Clara will miss him after junior high school. Miss Greenfin is Judy's English teacher. She encouraged Judy a lot. That's the reason why Judy will miss her. Please retell the conversation according to the table. Let's read the reference. Judy and Clara are talking about the teachers they will miss after junior high school. Clara will miss Miss Lee and Miss Brown most. Miss Lee was always patient in math class and helped Clara to work out the answers. And Mr. Brown guided her to do a lot better in science. He always took the time to explain things to Clara clearly whenever she couldn't understand anything. Judy will miss Miss Greenfin most because she always encouraged Judy in English class. Because of her, Judy put in more effort and her exam scores doubled. They are going to give a card and a gift to express their thanks to the teachers. Now listen to the recording and read the conversation with the recording. Which teachers will you miss the most after junior high school, Clara? Ms. Lee and Mr. Brown. I know that Ms. Lee was always patient with you in math class. She helped you to work out the answers yourself, no matter how difficult they were. Yes, and Mr. Brown guided me to do a lot better in science. He always took the time to explain things to me clearly whenever I couldn't understand anything. Who will you miss? Miss Griffin. She encouraged me in English class. She always told me, you can do it. Because of her, I put in more effort and my exam scores doubled. 
Shall we get each of them a card and gift to say thank you? Good idea. Let's go shopping tomorrow. Role play the conversation between Judy and Clara with your partner, please. Make up a new conversation. Do you have a favorite teacher? What do you remember him or her doing for you? Make up a new conversation to talk about your favorite teacher. You can use some information about the PE teacher in 2A on page 148. Judy, is there a teacher who you, you will miss most? Clara, yes, I remember Mr. Hunt was kind when I hurt my knee. Imagine you are Clara or Judy. Write a passage about one of your unforgettable teachers using the information in 2D. Let's read the sample. I'm Clara. I'm going to finish junior high school. I am sad because I will leave my teachers and friends. Mr. Brown is one of my favorite teachers. I will miss him because he helped me a lot. I was not good at science. He guided me to do a lot better in science. What's more, he always took time to explain things to me clearly whenever I couldn't understand anything. He's such a good teacher. I will remember him forever. Pay attention to the structure of the passage. In the body part, you need to give enough information to let others know why you say the teacher is one of your favorite teachers. Look at this writing exercise. 你在求学的过程中肯定遇到过很多位好老师。你最喜欢哪位呢? 请你以 the teacher I like best 为题，用英语写一篇短文，可参考如下问题：Who is the teacher you like best? What did he do to help you? What do you think of him or her? Still, don't forget to give enough information to let others know why you say the teacher is your favorite one. Let's deal with some language points. First, let's learn some phrases on the screen. 无论 No matter 从哪哪哪毕业 Graduate from Number 3 给出清楚的指令 Give clear instructions 对,有耐心 Be patient with somebody 对,某人严格 Be strict with somebody 引导某人做某事 Guide somebody to do something 鼓励某人做某事 Encourage somebody to do something 解释事情很清楚 Explain things clearly 在某方面做得好得多 Do a lot better in something 投入更多的努力 Put in more effort 算出答案 Work out the answers Miss Lee was always patient with you in math class. Be patient with somebody. 对某人有耐心. She is a patient of the doctor. Patient, 病人. Teachers have patience with students. Patience, 耐心, 忍耐力. She helped you to work out the answers yourself 
no matter how difficult they were. Work out, 解决，算出。Work out what you need to do first, and go for it today. 首先确定你需要做什么，然后就行动。从今天开始。He always took the time to explain things to me clearly whenever I couldn't understand anything. It takes somebody time to do something. Means somebody spends time on something or spend time in doing something. 做某事花了某人多少时间 I put in more effort and my exam scores doubled. Double, 两倍的，加倍的。动词加倍，是什么的两倍。They bought a double bed. 他们买了一张双人床。Now let's do some exercises. Number one. The answer is B. It took me two weeks. To finish reading the novels written by Guo Jingming. Number two, the answer is still B. I enjoyed playing computer games, but I can't spend too much time doing that. Mr. Brown guided me to do a lot better in science. A lot, 或者是 a little, a bit, much. Far, even, they can be added in the comparison. Which one do you choose? B. I think it's necessary to learn how to work in groups. I quite agree. Sometimes it's even more important than grades. Now put the sentences into English with the words given. Number one, Miss Wang is patient with her students. Number two, who guided you to read the book? Number three, it's difficult to explain the problem to children. Number four. They had to stay at home yesterday because of the rain. Number five. Molly often takes time to help do something in the old people's home. Great dream makes a great man. What would you like to do in the future? Talk about what you hope to do in the future, please. What do you hope to do in the future? I hope to get a business degree and become a manager. Listen to a class discussion. Check the hopes you hear. Good morning, Mrs. Chen. Morning, everyone. Well, today is our last class together. That makes me sad, Mrs. Chen. Your classes have been great. I'm glad to hear that. But the future will be exciting too. What do you hope to do in the future, Bob? I hope to pass the exam to get into senior high school. I'm going to try to get into a music school. I want to play in a band. I think you can do it, Shirley. And you can. I remember you won a prize for science. Yes, last year. I'd like to be an astronaut and go into space. It would be so exciting if I could do that. I'm going to improve my English so that I can teach kids English in the future. That's an excellent plan, Anna. All of you should go for it. I believe in you, all of you. Thank you, Mrs. Chen. Oh, this weekend we're celebrating the end of junior high school. We're having a party, and we'd like you to come. Why, of course. I'd love to. I'll bring a graduation cake. 
Shirley is going to try to get into a music school. Picture two. Anna is going to improve her English so that she can teach kids English in the future. It's picture three. Ken would like to be an astronaut and uh, go to space. It's picture four. Bob hopes to pass the exam to get into a senior high school. It's picture five. Listen again. Complete the passage. Good morning, Mrs. Chen. Morning, everyone. Well, today is our last class together. That makes me sad, Mrs. Chen. Your classes have been great. I'm glad to hear that. But the future will be exciting, too. What do you hope to do in the future, Bob? I hope to pass the exam to get into senior high school. I'm going to try to get into a music school. I want to play in a band. I think you can do it, Shirley. And you can? I remember you won a prize for science. Yes, last year. I'd like to be an astronaut and go into space. It would be so exciting if I could do that. I'm going to improve my English so that I can teach kids English in the future. That's an excellent plan, Anna. All of you should go for it. I believe in you, all of you. Thank you, Mrs. Chen. Oh, this weekend we're celebrating the end of junior high school. We're having a party. And we'd like you to come. Why, of course. I'd love to. I'll bring a graduation cake. Let's check the answers. Number one, said. Number two, Great. Number three, pass. Number four, music. Next one, science. And here, won a prize. So he wants to be an astronaut. Improve her English. Tells them to go for it. Having a party. Now, ask and answer the questions with your partner. Number one, how have you changed since you started junior high school? Number two, who has helped you most? Number three, what advice have your parents given you? What will you do after you graduate? What are you looking forward to? There must be some teachers who help you a lot. So, today's homework. Write a passage to introduce your favorite teacher. Or you can choose to write something to your favorite teacher. Unit 14. I remember meeting all of you in grade 7, period 3. First, let's deal with our learning goals. At the end of this period, hopefully, you will be able to Enjoy the English poems and know the rhyme. Try to write your own short poems about your own unforgettable school life. Let's review what we have learned in this unit. Looking back at your junior high school, 
What could you think of? Start with I remember. I remember patient teachers. I remember adorable classmates. I remember doing morning reading on time. I remember doing gymnastic exercises with my classmates. I remember taking part in the art festivals. I remember helping each other with homework. Open your books. Turn to page one hundred and seven. We will learn passage three A. What activities do you think the writer will remember about his or her life in junior high school? Maybe the sports meetings, the New Year's parties, or preparing for exams. Now, let's listen to the poem and fill in the blanks. I remember looking back at these past three years. I remember many things: trying to be on time for morning readings, running when the lunch bell rings. I remember the excitement of the school sports day each year, the many long hours of training, pride of overcoming fear. I remember starting day one, the shyest in my whole class, never speaking to anyone, and thinking I would not pass. Then slowly I made some new friends to remember forever, helping each other with homework, getting better together, preparing for art festivals, and making a great big mess, having fun at New Year's parties, wishing everyone the best. We have learned a different language that is from a foreign land. English brings many challenges. We work hard to understand. And now it's time to graduate. We will leave our lovely school. I can't believe it's been three years. I'm trying to keep my cool, but it's difficult not to cry. I'll miss the school trees and flowers, and our kind and caring teachers. Wonderful memories of ours. Now let's check the answers. I remember looking back at these past three years. I remember many things. Trying to be on time for morning readings. Running when the lunch bell rings. I remember the excitement of the school sports day each year. The many long hours of training. Pride of overcoming fear. I remember starting day one. The shyest in my whole class, never speaking to anyone, and thinking I would not pass. Then, slowly, I made some new friends to remember forever, helping each other with homework, getting better together. Preparing for art festivals and making a great big mess, having fun at New Year's parties, wishing everyone the best. We have learned a different language. That is from a foreign land. English brings many challenges. We work hard to understand, and now is the time to graduate. We will leave our lovely school. 
I can't believe it's been three years. I'm trying to keep my cool, but it's difficult not to cry. I'll miss the school trees and flowers, and our kind and caring teachers. Wonderful memories of ours. Now let's check the answers. Number one, what kind of writing is this? The writing is a poem. Poem, 诗歌 Number two, what is the main subject of this writing? The main subject is the writer's memories of school over the last three years. Number three, who do you think the writer is? The writer is the student who is just about to graduate. Be about to do, Jiang Yao. Let's learn some common knowledge of English poetry. 有的英文诗分为几节，诗的节 （stanza）， 每节由若干诗行组成。有的诗则不分节。英文诗每行的第一个字母都大写，有时一行诗正好是一句，有时两行或者许多行才构成一个意思完整的句子。英文诗一般都押韵。那么大家知道这个韵脚会在什么地方吗？头韵，指一行诗中几个词开头的辅音相同，形成押韵。尾韵，压在诗行最后一个重读音节上，这是最常见的押韵位置。行内韵，诗行中间停顿处的重读音节与该行最后一个重读音节押韵。有不少英文诗是不押韵的，不押韵的诗称无韵诗或白体诗，多用在戏剧和叙事诗中。How many stanzas are there in this poem? Eight. 请大家把这首小诗的章节进行归类。Experiences and memories about the past. 这个部分是一至六小节 Feelings about having to leave. 这部分是七至八节 Read the poem again. Write the words that rhyme with the words below. Number one. Things, rings. Number two, ear, fear. Number three, class, pass. Number four, land, understand. Number five, school, cool. Number six, flowers, hours. Read the passage and answer. What activities can the writer remember about his or her life in junior high? Underline the things the writer can remember. Okay, now these activities are. What the writer can remember: morning readings, sports day, starting day one, making friends, helping with homework, preparing for art festivals, New Year's parties, learn a language, school trees and flowers, kind and caring teachers. 
What feelings do you think the writer had when she or he experienced these things? Number one, trying to be on time for morning readings. Maybe the feelings are hard and difficult. Running to the dining hall when the lunch bell rings. The writer felt hungry. Training for sports day. Tired. Starting the first day in grade seven. Shy. Slowly making some new friends. Happy. Helping classmates with homework. Good. Preparing for art festivals. Happy, maybe excited. Going to New Year's parties. Excited. Learning English. Challenging, 有挑战性的 Have you experienced any of the following things? How did you feel? How does the writer feel about them? Now let's try to use complete sentences to answer them. Number one, hard, difficult. It was a struggle to be on time for morning readings. Number two, they were hungry, so they rushed to the dining hall when the bell rang. Number three, they were excited about training and proud. When they overcame their fears. Number four. He or she was shy when starting his or her first day in grade seven. Number five. He or she felt a little hard to make friends. Number six. He or she was happy to help classmates with homework. Number seven. Happy, they enjoyed preparing for art festivals and making a great big mess. Number eight. Interesting. They had fun at New Year's parties. Number nine. Challenging. There were many challenges, and they had to work hard. To understand. Now turn to page one hundred twelve, activity one in self check. What happened in junior high that made you have these feelings? Complete the chart. Now let's finish. The chart, please. Excited. I felt more excited when I won the first prize in the speech competition. Happy. I was happy when our math teacher praised me, and I worked harder than before. Worried. I felt worried when our teacher told us that she was giving us a surprise test. Sad. I was sad when I had a fight with my best friend, and we didn't talk to each other for a week. Tired. I was tired after staying up late at night to study. I felt proud when our class won the first prize in the school sports meeting. Shy. I felt shy on the first day of grade seven and did not dare to talk to anyone. Now let's finish activity two in self check. You can stop the video and finish the exercises first. Okay, let's check the answers. 
I can't believe that today is the last day of junior high school. I still remember the first day of grade seven like it was yesterday. I used to be a really shy person, so on the first day of junior high, I was so scared and nervous. I thought that I would never make any friends, but now I realized that I was just being silly. Since then. I have made so many good friends, and I share so many good memories with them. Even though I am sad that junior high is over, I look forward to new experiences in senior high. 最后一个空，我们也可以填 I'm looking forward to new experiences. Now turn to page one hundred and eight. Finish activity four A by yourself. Number the sentences to make a paragraph. Now let's check the answers. The answers are six, one, three, five, four, two. Now. Read the passage and write the timeline. My time in junior high school. This is the general introduction. Then the passage introduced from the first year, grade seven. Then moves to grade eight. And this year. Next year, and when I get to senior high. Look at the screen and answer the questions. How do you feel when it's time to graduate and leave school? What other experiences have you ever had in your junior high school? Read three A on page one hundred seven again, and learn to write a short poem. Add things you remember and your feelings. Looking back at these past three years, I remember many things. I will miss the school trees and the flowers, and our kind and caring teachers. Wonderful memories of ours. Only when you challenge yourself, pursue your dream, and strive for success bravely, can your days be remembered. Thus, you can be remembered as well. Share your poem. There is a famous sentence from the hero Paul of the book "How the Steel Was Tempered." 钢铁是怎样炼成的？一书中的主人公保尔·克查金有一句名言 ：“Looking back, I will not regret the wasted years. Will not result in mediocrity ashamed. Mediocrity， 平庸之人。”这句话的意思是：回首往事的时候，我不会因为虚度年华而悔恨。也不会因为碌碌无为而羞耻。I believe you will also spend your youth meaningfully. Today's homework: recite the poem and polish your writings. 今天的课就上到这儿，同学们再见。同学们好，我是清华大学附属中学商地学校的张春梅老师。今天我们一起学习的课程是 Unit Fourteen. I remember meeting all of you in Grade Seven, Period Four.
First, let's deal with our learning goals. At the end of this period, you will be able to learn the reading skill of identifying text type and purpose. Get the general idea of the passage. Get to know how to give a speech. Introduce a person or an event from junior high school that you will never forget. You are going to finish your junior high school. What is the most important thing you have learned in your junior high school? We should be thankful to our parents, teachers, and friends. Unity is strength. We need to keep cool when facing problems. Never give up. Open your books. Turn to page 110. Read the passage of 2D first and answer the questions. Number one, what kind of text is it? Is it a story, a speech, or a notice? Number two, who do you think wrote it? Number three, who is it for? Let's check the answers. Number one, what kind of text is this? Is it a story, a speech, or a notice? It's a speech. Number two, who do you think wrote it? The principal of the school is probably the person who wrote it. Who is it for? It's for the graduating students of the school. Read the passage again and answer the questions. First, let's read the questions. Number one. What were the students like in grade 7? Number 2. How have the students changed? Number 3. Who should the students thank and why? Number 4. What will senior high be like? Number 5. How should the students deal with the future? Number six, what advice would you give to the students who are just starting junior high school? Now, let's check the answers. Number one, what were the students like in grade seven? They were all full of energy and thirsty for knowledge. How have the students changed? They are now talented young adults who are full of hope for the future. Number three, who should the students thank and why? They should thank the important people in their lives, their parents, teachers, and friends because these are the people who have helped and supported them. Number four, what will senior high be like? Life in senior high school will be harder and they will have many difficult tasks ahead of them. How should the students deal with the future? They should learn from their mistakes and never give up. Choose wisely and be responsible for their own decisions and actions. And do not forget where they came from. Number six. What advice would you give to the students who are just starting junior high school? First, 
try to do your best, no matter in your study or your life. Second, care about your classmates. Give your hands to them when they need help. Last, take part in more practical activities and exercise your ability. Practical, 它是 practice 的形容词的形式。多参加一些社会实践活动。Exercise， 我们以前接触的是它的名词形式，在这儿，这个词活用为动词，锻炼。Exercise your ability. Read the passage again, and draw a mind map to analyze the structure of the passage. Analyze, 分析，分析文章的结构。The passage is a graduation speech. How many paragraphs are there in the passage? There are four paragraphs. The first one, we call it the opening words. They are about the changes of the students. What about the second paragraph? The second paragraph is the advice to the students. What's the advice? Being thankful to the people around. The third paragraph is encouragement and advice on further studies. The last paragraph, the ending part, is the wishes. Let's deal with two D on page one hundred and eleven, filling the blanks with the correct forms of the words in the box. You will have two minutes to finish this exercise. Now let's check the answers. Number one, it's time to say goodbye, but none of us want to leave. Number two, it's always hard to separate from those whom you have spent so much time with for the past three years. However, we are still excited to set out on a new journey when we enter senior high school. Separate from, 与谁谁谁分离 Number three, the teacher can see in our eyes that we are thirsty for knowledge. She tells us that knowledge will give us wings to fly, wings, 翅膀 Number four, we will attend the junior high graduation ceremony today. It is a very special time for us. Ceremony, 仪式 Number five. Our teachers and parents will be proud of us because we have grown up and can be responsible for ourselves. Be responsible for. 对，负责任 Responsible, 名词形式 Responsibility. Let's deal with activity two e. Underline the sentences you like in the passage. And tell your partner what the sentences mean and why you like them. You will have three minutes to do this activity. I will show you a sample. I like the sentence. As you set out on your new journey, you shouldn't forget where you came from. It means no matter where we go, no matter what we will be, we should always remember the people who helped and supported us. No matter, 无论 I will show you some good sentences. First, put them into Chinese. It is time to say goodbye, but none of us want to leave. 
It's time to do something. 是时候做某事了，是说再见的时候了。但是没有一个人想离开。Number two. However, we are still excited to set out on a new journey when we enter senior high. Be excited to do something. 做某事很兴奋。Set out on a new journey. 出发到一个新征程。Enter, 进入。然而，进入高中阶段，开始新的历程，我们仍会感到兴奋。Number three, the teachers can see in our eyes that we are thirsty for knowledge. Be thirsty for, do you remember? 渴望。老师能从我们的眼中看出我们对知识的渴望。Number four, we will attend the junior high graduation ceremony tomorrow. Graduation ceremony, 毕业典礼。明天我们会参加初中毕业典礼。Number five, our teachers and parents will be proud of us because we have grown up and can be responsible for ourselves. Be proud of. Do you remember the similar expression? Take pride in. Be responsible for. 对，负责。And what's the noun form of responsible? It's responsibility. 我们的老师和父母都会为我们感到骄傲，因为我们已经长大了，可以为自己负责了。Number six. As you set out on your new journey, you shouldn't forget where you came from. 在你踏上新的旅程的时候，不要忘记你来自哪里。This time, I'll show you the Chinese sentences. It's your turn to put them into English. Number one, 是时候做某事了。这个是哪个表达方式呢 ？It's time to do something. It's time to say goodbye, but none of us want to leave. Number two, 开始新的征程 How to say? Set out on a new journey. However, we are still excited to set out on a new journey when we enter senior high. Number three, 对什么的渴望 How to say? Be thirsty for something. The teacher can see in our eyes that we are thirsty for knowledge. Number four, 明天我们会参加初中毕业典礼 How to say? 毕业典礼 Graduation ceremony. We will attend the junior high graduation ceremony tomorrow. Number five. 我们的老师和父母都会为我们感到骄傲。对，感到骄傲。We have two expressions. What are they? Number one, be proud of. And number two, take pride in. 对。某人负责。Be responsible for. Our teachers and parents will be proud of us because we have grown up and can be responsible for ourselves. 在你踏上新的旅程的时候，不要忘记你来自哪里。踏上新的旅程 ，How to say? Set out on a new journey. 忘记做某事，还记得吗？我们在前面讲过，忘记去做 ，forget to do， 忘记做过的事 ，forget doing。As you set out on your new journey, you shouldn't forget where you came from. Where you came from， 这是一个宾语从句，作为 forget 的宾语。当一个句子作为宾语的时候。
，我们要用陈述语序。Think of a person or an event from junior high school that you will never forget. You can write from these aspects. These questions are very important for us. Number one, who is the person? What is the event? When and where did you first meet this person? When and where did this event happen? How did you feel when you met this person? How did you feel when this event happened? How did this person help you? What happened later? How has this person's advice changed your life? Or how has this event changed your life? Write a passage about the person or event you thought about in three A. Describe the person, or describe the event. Explain how you feel about this person or event. Describe how this person or event has changed your life. Now, look at this writing task. 你在求学的过程中肯定遇到过很多好老师。你最喜欢哪位呢？请你以 The teacher I like best 为题，用英语写一篇短文。提示词 ：patient、encourage、improve。我们来分析一下这几个提示词语 ：patient， 耐心的，这个是帮我们来描述老师的性格 ；encourage， 老师对我们做的事情 ；improve， 老师做的事对我们的帮助。提示问题 ：Who is the teacher you like best？ What did he or she do? Number three, what do you think of him or her? Let's read a sample. The person I will never forget is Mrs. Chen. She is my English teacher in Grade Seven. When I first studied Grade Seven, I was shy and did not dare to speak to anyone. My English was not very good. And I felt nervous when I had to answer questions in class. I would have problems speaking, even though I knew the answer. I felt quite unhappy with myself. Felt nervous, 感到紧张 Dare to do something, 敢于做某事 One day, Mrs. Chen spoke to me after class. She encouraged me to speak to anyone. She also told me that she believed I could speak well if I practiced more. I was touched by what she said, and it made me work harder on my speaking skills. Mrs. Chen continued to encourage me, and I became even more confident. I improved so much that I won an English speech contest that year. I will always be grateful to Mrs. Chen for her advice and support. Grateful, 感激的 It's very important to master the topic of introducing a person who has helped you a lot or an unforgettable thing. Don't forget to talk about your feeling. And look at this writing task. My precious experience. Still pay attention to talk about what happened, what improved you a lot, what impressed you a lot. Why do you cherish the experience? 那么这个话题我们可以从多角度来命题，比如这篇作文，宽容是一种美德。人与人之间难免会有磕磕绊绊。这篇文章同样是在描写
初中生活的一件难忘的事件。Today we learned a passage of graduation speech. You can write a graduation speech from these aspects. You can talk about the changes of the students, and you can give advice to the students, being thankful to the people around you, and you can give them encouragement and advice on further studies. And at the end, don't forget to give them wishes. When you introduce a person or an event, you will never forget. The sentences in 3A and 3B are very important and useful. As we go on, we remember all the times we had together, and as our lives change, come whatever, we will still be friends forever. Today's homework. Memorize the sentences you like. Finish exercise three A. 今天的课就上到这儿，同学们再见。